Hola, creo que sí, creo que ahora se está, se está grabando. Simplemente esto es un pequeño vídeo que voy a colgar en YouTube para que vosotros, los alumnos de primero de bachillerato, eh, toméis contacto con Sofía, que al final Sofía, nuestra auxiliar de, de idioma en inglés, no se ha ido de España, está aquí en España. Le he dicho que grabe algún pequeño vídeo para que vayáis retomando contacto con ella. Y voy a encender la luz porque esto... Ah, es un poquito más de luminosidad. Eh, para que vayáis tomando contacto con ella y la escuchéis hablar. Eh, después a las 6 haréis el examen, como, como sabéis, pero después el miércoles, cuando nos vamos a reunir en Zoom, el miércoles a las 12, voy a intentar que sea el miércoles a las 12, pues cuando nos reunamos en el Zoom, eh, bueno, en el Zoom, <risa> hagamos esa videoconferencia, Sofía está invitada y seguramente tendremos un rato de charla con ella también en inglés, ¿vale? Así que sin más, voy a paralizar, eh, no sé cómo se podría, bueno, no importa, voy a... Hello students, I haven't seen esto para que eh, podáis verlo vosotros, ¿vale? Así que ahora mismo voy a compartir, a capturar la pantalla, no, fuera. me quito la cámara frontal del ordenador y le doy a Sophie. Hello students, I haven't seen you in a long time. Um, uh, hopefully we will get to see each other again como, soon. Como and no muy bien, voy a pararlo, vamos a darle de nuevo hacia atrás. Y vamos a hacer otra cosita para que esto sea más fácil. Lo primero va a ser darle más volumen a mi ordenador. Y así lo voy a escuchar muy bien. ¿Vale? De nuevo, para que escuchéis a Sofi cuatro minutitos. Hello, students. I haven't seen you in a long time. Um... Uh, hopefully we will get to see each other again soon and that we can all go back to school um, but I'm still in Spain and um, I hope to be here for a long time to come. So I sent back the marks to Manuel uh, for your English speeches. Thank you very much for that. They were all amazing Uh, I loved hearing every one of you speaking. Thank you very much for being so brave and speaking in a different language to your native language um, and telling me about something that you find interesting. So thank you very much for that. Um, I loved it. And hopefully we can do it again soon when we get back to school. Uh, now, I am supposed to talk to you about something And I guess the thing that everyone has been talking about is the coronavirus. So you get to hear a bit of, about the coronavirus in English from my perspective. So for me, it has been very interesting being here in Spain as an international um, and being very far away from home um, where the information that I read is in Spanish. Now, I can't read Spanish, so most of the sources that I can read are English and they're written um, by people that speak English, which is usually from the UK, the US or Australia. So I don't get any first-hand information from uh, the Spanish government, um, but I do have friends that can translate it for me, which is very nice. Um, But yeah, it's interesting seeing how all of these different countries have different strategies for this. So China was obviously the most extreme. Um, who, they went into complete lockdown. They shut down everything, public transport. You couldn't drive a vehicle unless it was registered. Um, yeah, which is ridiculous. And then here in Europe now, things are getting very intense. Obviously, Spain is um, second in the world for most coronavirus deaths at the moment, which is a little bit upsetting. Um, and hopefully our healthcare system can continue to, um, to assist those people that need help. Um, in Australia at the moment, there are less than 1,000 cases of coronavirus, so they haven't reacted as strongly as some other countries, but they have recently decided that um, 
they are going to put in self-isolation measures so you can only go out in public um, with less than two people together and um, all of the restaurants and uh, retail shops, they've all shut. So they are well on their way of being in lockdown as well. Um, I hope you stay safe and um, continue to be with your families and the people that you love. Surround yourself with people that you love. Uh, check up on your friends um, because this is a hard time for everyone. <laughs> and everyone is a little bit bored and annoyed. <laughs> um, but yeah. Continue um, to act responsibly, as I know you all are responsible. Um, and this is a big, life-changing event for the whole world. So we'll see where this takes us. Um, I will see you again over the next coming days. Um, until then, um, yeah, stay safe, look after yourself, um, and keep working hard. Y esto ha sido todo por ahora, así que espero que, que la escuchéis bien, que os sirva para que tengáis un poquito de reflexión, un poquito de inglés, y el próximo día nos vemos el miércoles eh, haciendo una videoconferencia, ¿de acuerdo? Venga, hasta luego, un saludo.